basically, um, try to try to pull off that truck and rob them. Yeah. We've got AKs on the back there. We identified ourselves uh, as police officers. Uh, they fired at us. We defended ourselves. How many dead are you living? I don't know. I've just, I've just come out of the line. They practice their routines with live ammunition. Time Go. after time after time. Hey, <laughs> Please let it go go now. You said in a few minutes time you will leave her. After you started shooting, I threw the stun through the window and everything just froze. It, it felt like an eternity for the stun grenade to go off. And I couldn't move fast enough to get to the hostage. I mean, I, I just, it felt like I was running through water to kick down the door. I couldn't, uh, just unbelievable. They tried to rob this, uh, this guy again for the third time and uh, as they came in we shouted police, police and the guys went for the guns, they pulled and we had to try and stop it. So unfortunately it went out on a shooting and uh, we're still looking for some of the guys, they might be in the area around here. All right. As the hostage taker still wants to speak to the media, Captain JJ requests our cameraman to enter the bank with him. Unknown to the suspect, the team who entered through the second story window have now worked their way down to the ground floor and are only yards away from their target. JJ must lure the suspect forward to the window and into their view. <laughs> Jij kan opstaan? Oké, okay, jij kan voor mij opstaan? Ja, maar ik kan niet direct die glas, kan ik niet nemen. Je moet voor hem staan wat hij mag. Jeff, explain to him the angle on the glass. There's a big reflection here. Wat is de winde? Wat is de winde? Wat is de winde? Hoi, Warren Morris had a recent job dealing with a drunk crazed mother who was hanging her own child out of a window some ten stories up. She had a, the kid out with by the ears, 
then back in the flat and then scream and then out with the legs and holding with one hand. I mean, it's a 10 story flat building. So that, I mean, certain death, certain death. The guy has fallen apart. He went in through the front door. That's the front door. We had guys on ropes at the windows at the back. On my left, about 45 degrees, there was the woman holding the baby out of the window. At that stage, I couldn't see the baby. I just saw the, the woman's arms. And as I reached for the, for the baby, she let the baby go, and I caught it, luckily enough, with one hand on the top of her foot, on the top of her ankle like that. Picked up the little baby, the best feelings that I'll, I'll never forget that little face of hers. She wasn't even screaming, mummy. She was just like dead quiet, big eyes. And I had to give her the baby straight away to someone else, so then I had to walk out of this. That was quite traumatic. <laughs>